so i had this tutorial uh, which i had uh, published around 2018 uh, which received quite a bit of uh, views here and i'm still receiving those views now the problem with this tutorial is that it's uh, of around uh, year 2018 and the things have been changed uh, from then on because what has happened is the nodes have been changed so some nodes which have been hidden they are there but they are hidden so uh, come across a lot of comments where uh, the viewers are saying that they are not able to find the nodes uh, the music is too loud there is there is no comments that there, there's no narration uh, there's no explanation and sure of yes there is no explanation in the videos in the video which is happening so i thought why not have one created uh, in 2021 uh, with houdini 8.18.5 okay uh, so let's ha have a look at how a smoke can be created from a scratch in Houdini 18.5 uh, year 2021. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so uh, what I'll be doing is uh, I, I will just need two things. One is a uh, uh, smoke source from where the smoke will be emitting, and I will need a dopnet network okay just these two things that's okay so let's start by creating a geo okay this is where my smoke source would be so i'll call this as smoke source okay uh, let's start by creating a sphere for a smoke source Here will be uh, polygonal mesh. Fine. So what I will need here is a uh, pyro source from where the emission will be happening. Okay. I'll need to keep this to surface uh, scatter I want the points to be scattered all over the surface and I need to initialize uh, three attributes in it that is one is the density okay and another one is, will be temperature there will be another one which will be v for velocity okay uh, so once i have specified how the points will be scattered and i have specified to initialize all the attributes which i'll be requiring i'll be i'll need to uh, use noise attribute so I'll use attribute noise. Okay. Just to create a, a bit of a randomness here. So uh, uh, when there is an emission, I want this to be a little bit randomized. Okay. I'll, I'll choose the position attribute in here so that uh, the points get randomized accordingly. And uh, probably just have these this element size a bit reduced i want this to be animated of course mm. yeah. okay. little turbulent you have more i want this to be uh the operation to be uh, centered okay so instead of add i will just set it to uh, 
zero center. So it's exactly zeroed out at the grid center here. If I just play it, um, I also will have the pulse duration to be a little slower. It's too fast right now. Maybe three will be better. Five. Let's check. Yeah, that's better. Fine. So once I have the points scattered and the points have been animated, I need some some volume to this. Okay, so the points will then start emitting volume. Okay. Uh, so for that, I'll be using raster. Okay, so I'll be using a volume rasterizer actually. I'm being very specific, not volume rasterize, so volume rasterize attribute. Okay. Yep. So in the volume rasterize attribute, I will need to use the attribute position attribute density as well as the temperature as well as the velocity you know once we have created um, i'll be coming back to this later i'll also need the attributes uh normalize by clamp curves because you can see the these is pretty much aliased i want this to be empty also and like this will be better okay check I see the points moving now okay. all right okay. mm, probably what I'll do is just go back to the pyro uh, just work with the particle scale a bit okay mm, particle separation can be altered later it will be quite all right. Element size okay. Everything else is good. Mm, I just need some more points. So instead of uh, uh, point to one, I will just have this value to skip this value to zero five. So I have more points. Okay, we we'll check this. And more point this is quite dense part so it gives me pretty much a dense volume here okay fine so now that i have uh, all the attributes uh, done okay and also uh, it's been rasterized to a volume i'll just put on a null here Simply name it as output. Fine. So that's done for the smoke source. Okay, let's jump into the dot network where the actual simulations will be happening, and I'll have uh, uh, the smoke rising. Okay. Use a dot work uh, dive into the top network and start by putting a pyro solo we'll see you something all as volume source To source the volume form, and I'll also use something called a smoke out. Okay, we are not using sparse here, so just be careful of while using sparse. We are not using anything about sparse. This is, we are keeping it very simple. Okay. Uh, so volume self, uh, volume source will. Uh, connect and the smoke update will connect to the first 
input okay fine so as such nothing okay you won't see anything if i go to volume source i need to specify my attributes in the volume source too okay so they they are not there right now you can see we have not they haven't been specified other thing is even before specifying that i need to specify my swap path okay that is the output okay so i'll just choose the output from here okay from the object in the top i need to choose oops just be careful that is output null okay so we we'll need to uh source that source it again from here which will be the output yes it's the one not the one here okay the one uh which specifies the null with this circle okay that's output okay fine now let's create the attribute source the attribute here that is uh, the density then the one is temperature and the one is velocity okay. so the source volume will be density here And the target field will all be the same. Which will be the scalar, of course. Uh, the same goes true for the temperature. And uh, the velocity. Target fill, uh, target fill will be, uh, target fill will be null, and this will be the vector attribute, specifying all three directions. Okay, yeah. So that's done for the volume source. Let's come back to this smoke object. Okay, what all things we'll need to specify? We need this to be a multi field of course right uh the properties uh will be coming back to this later uh in the creation it will be creation frame specific simulation solve on creation so it will immediately start solving on um the simulation okay uh yeah so other than that in the multi because it's supposed to be a multi i will be at uh introducing multi fields in here which is of course you know that uh there is a density attribute okay which i will need to specify uh, and in the emission there will be temperature Uh, the scale will, will let the let, let's create let's have the scale to around five and i will also have a uh, attribute called as heat here right because it's a part of uh, smoke where the heat plays a major role in uh for the attributes uh for a smoke so fine let's uh, go back so everything is done from here okay uh, okay now inside dope uh, uh let's check what exactly is happening on the smoke okay i i, I don't see anything okay the reason behind that is uh, the smoke 
uh, has its dimensions here which are just quite limited to uh, this box okay so the bounding box is just limited to this and there is no way for the smoke to travel in any direction so just scale it Let's give it a view, good volume to work with. Of course, um, the port direction. Okay. So there it is. Let's move down a bit. That's on the base. Okay, fine. Okay. Now uh, I'll also create a light, a uh, directional light here, the distance light. Okay, so once that is done, I'll just work with uh, some of the attributes in the Pyro Solver where I can define how much dissipation will be, whether there will be some disturbance, okay, or whether there will be some turbulence. Okay. Uh, let's work, uh, work on these attributes. So probably I'll just keep this to one for now. Disturbance will be let's say point seven. Okay. And turbulence will be point five. So I'll see some changes happen. Definitely it won't be uh what you see right now. It will alter the parameters. Let's see what it does. A lot of uh, disturbance there, which is happening. You can already see it. A lot of turbulence too. Will also increase the resolution a, a bit. So I'm quite happy with uh, the kind of output what I'm getting already. Uh, In, from here, I could still experiment though. Yeah, I'll go back to the smoke source. Let me adjust the uh, smoke source and adjust the just the dot for a while so that I can see what's happening. I, I just pretty much have a little bit more. Turbulence, I have uh, turbulent uh, points for this. So, kind of increase the amplitude a bit. Maybe the element will be quite okay. Uh, pulse direction I'm going to try out. So, yep. We can have, let's see, a little bit of neck. Yeah, kind of happy with that. All right, the temperature scale in the density scale attack. Room rasterize 
this one looks like. All right, we're kind of happy with this. Let's go back. You go to the background and use this to talk. So it's pretty much visible to us. Turn off the grid. Take this. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Uh, I like the way how the smoke feels like. We'll have some dissipation going on very quickly. Uh, so let's jump into the smoke object. I'm sorry, into the pyro solid and have a quick dissipation in the shape. Make this point five. There will be a quicker dissipation. You can really see that. If you want, it's dissipation, dissipating quite quickly. Point six maybe. Yes. Let's give it more turbulence. One of the smoke object. And on the top, So now I'm having a quick dissipation or a dying of smoke uh, there because uh, the value has been increased. So it's dissipating very quickly. The lower the value, the less it's going to dissipate. The higher the value, the more it's going to dissipate. So it's, it's dissipating very quickly as the value is higher. Yeah, so if you need a more denser smoke, I I will just uh, increase the value, uh, decrease the values here. So, for example, the division size here, uh, just probably make it point one. Okay. So uh, the lower the value, uh, the higher the division size, um, uh, the better the quality of the smoke. Uh, that that's in the smoke, of course. Uh, and if I go in 
if we jump into the smoke uh, I will just work with the particle separation also which already I have done and uh, also the volume voxel size here so all those three attribute does matter uh, when you are uh, you can see a reduced uh, uh, time here as you increase those values okay so higher the value uh, the more the time is going to take for simulations Yeah, so you can see that the smoke is quite dense, though you can still increase, uh, uh, decrease the voxel values and the particle separation both, which will take uh, you much longer time, but of course uh, the resolution will be much denser as well as clearer, so the quality will be quite better than what you see right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I kind of like the look, the way it's flowing. Work. I will add Yeah, in this case, what I'll have to do is uh, rotate it in this direction. Just select the smoke object and take the container the bounding box in the direction
Let's get from my Fedora. Yeah, so that's it, guys. Um, I think um, that will help you to understand Smoke correctly and help you in your projects. Um, uh, that was the Smoke for uh, Houdini 18.5. Until then, uh, till next version, if there is anything major, come back. I'll come back or if not just let's wait for anything new okay thanks guy so if you like the videos please share and subscribe that's all thanks bye